Thank you, John. Uh, that really says, says a lot of what I was going to say. So I'm going to talk mainly about my research and try to keep my remarks brief so that we can dive right into what I expect will be a very interesting discussion. Um, as John described, over the past 30 years, incorporation by reference has, has sort of exploded, largely due to uh, agencies' use of voluntary consensus standards pursuant to OMB Circular A119 and the Tech Transfer Act. Um, to give you an idea of this, uh, a NIST database says that there are approximately 9,500 incorporations by reference just of, cons of, of standards uh, currently in the Code of Federal Regulations. And the practice really presents common issues, but all the agencies that incorporate by reference have addressed these issues independently. So from my perspective, uh, the goal of the project is really twofold. First, to find out what agencies are doing and compile all of that information in a centralized document that any agency that incorporates by reference can look at and learn from. And secondly, to identify best practices that could be uh, included in a recommendation to make the process work better for all the parties who are involved. Uh, in order to conduct this research, I did basically four things. I talked to agencies, first of all. I talked to about a dozen agencies, including non-regulatory agencies that have a key role in this process, including uh, NIST, OMB, and the Office of the Federal Register. And I also talked to a wide variety of regulatory agencies who use incorporation by reference for vastly different regulatory purposes. Um, just a few that were included were CPSC, OSHA, uh, the Coast Guard, FAA, and, and several others. Um, I also conducted interviews with uh, about a half a dozen standard development organizations to get their perspective on this, and they were incredibly helpful um, in giving me their side and, and their understanding of why the system works the way it does. Uh, next, I spent two days at the Office of the Federal Register with the legal staff who um, are charged with approving all requests for incorporation by reference. They really gave me a very up-close view of how the process works and what its issues are. Um, lastly, I gave a presentation to the Interagency Committee on Standards Policy um, in which I engaged, I gave them a presentation on the project and then sparked a, a very good dialogue with the standards executives who were in, in attendance, which included representatives from agencies who were, for mainly logistical reasons, not able to more fully participate in my research. Um, one thing I found was very broad consensus among everyone I talked to about what the issues are in incorporation by reference. And so I focus on those issues in the report, and that's reflected also in the recommendation. First, and of course, I think the most sexy issue uh, would be the public access question. How do you make sure that these materials are available to the parties who need to see them, both during the rulemaking process and once a regulation that incorporates them has been adopted? Next, uh, agencies often face challenges updating their regulations when they incorporate by reference. You have to incorporate by reference a specific version of a document, and voluntary consensus standards in particular are frequently revised, often on a scale that just agencies can't keep up with. And lastly, I looked at procedural and drafting questions. Um, the least fun, unless you're a nerd like me. Um, but it turns out that there are some very obvious problems and some very obvious fixes there. Um, with respect to the public access question, the one thing I found, and I think John hinted at this, is that this is really an emerging problem. Um, it, by law, agencies and the Office of the Federal Register are required to keep on hand a document of anything that's incorporated by, or a copy of anything that's incorporated by reference for public inspection. And 30 years ago, that was sufficient. But with ubiquitous use of the internet and pushes for e-rulemaking and transparency, it's really just no longer adequate. And I found a really great variety of where agencies are in this. Some of them had noticed the problem, but hadn't really figured out what to do about it. Others have been very proactive. Um, I'll give one example. The Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, um, in one instance, went to a standard developer and arranged with them to make a read-only uh, electronic copy of the standard they were considering in the electronic docket during the course of a rulemaking. Um, and those kinds of technological devices can uh, provide a way for agencies and standard developers to increase access without severely undercutting the market for the standard. Um, with respect to updating, I found a much greater variety in practices. Um, and, and there were reasons for this. In talking to the agencies, I found out what they were. <laughs> Sometimes you can do direct final rulemaking. If you're a hybrid agency that is subject to additional uh, procedural requirements, that might not work. Some agencies you use enforcement discretion, but they do it in different kinds of ways depending on their position vis-a-vis -vis regulated parties. And so I think one of the great values of this project is just identifying 
what the various approaches are, when they work, why they work, and why they fail. And one of the things that the recommendation includes is, is a statutory solution that I think would alleviate some of the persistent problems in updating. Um, finally, on procedural and drafting issues, um, the one really, think, I think, key thing I found is that some agencies don't have that many problems with the process. And those agencies tended to be the ones who had very good working relationships with the Office of the Federal Register, um, someone at their agency who was a continuous point, point of contact with OFR and who had very good knowledge of the processes that uh, the Office of the Federal Register uses to approve incorporations by reference. So I think uh, the recommendation does a lot to highlight these issues, and uh, I look forward to the debate on all of them. Thank you.